So are you thinking about moving to Boca Raton, Florida? I don't blame you. It is an awesome, awesome town. I was essentially born and raised here. Okay, I wasn't born here. My family moved me here when I was two. Now, one of the most common calls we get for individuals is for people quite possibly like yourself from other states like New York, New Jersey, Illinois, even from Canada that wants to move to Boca. But not all circumstances may be best for you to move to Boca because there are other options that do exist. Now, Boca Raton is great. It has a wide range of living and lifestyle options. But there's one demographic where a town that borders Boca may be better for you, and this is Parkland, Florida. Parkland sits on the southwest corner of Boca Raton. Actually, Boca Raton borders it to the north and is at the most southern part of Palm Beach County. Parkland is at the most northern part of Broward County, while well, the most northwest part, and it's only separated by a canal, a canal that leads to the Everglades. So basically, if you're sitting at the edge of Parkland, you could throw a rock into Boca and vice versa. Okay, so why would you consider Parkland over Boca? One reason could could be is because you want an amazing neighborhood with fantastic schools. Parkland has this too. So does this mean that Boca Raton doesn't have this too? Not at all. As a matter of fact, it does. Boca Raton is known for this. But we should really compare Parkland to Boca to see what you can get and what's better for you and your family. So we have to look at what do typical families look for when they're purchasing a new home. And those are essentially single family homes, let's say between three and five bedrooms. Now, if you take a look at this graph right here, you can see the average over the last four months for Boca, what price per square footage under air that is, is $454.50. Now let's look at Parkland. If we do the same thing with Parkland, we have $338.50. Now this is $116 less per square foot if you choose Parkland over Boca. Now let's do the math. Let's say if you get a 2,300 square foot under air home in both of these cities. If you are buying in Parkland, on average, you're gonna be paying over a quarter million dollars less. As a matter of fact, the exact numbers come to $266,800 less in Parkland than in Boca. And you may be thinking, well, Chris, if you're paying less, you must be getting less. And that is true in most cases, especially realtors. The absence of value is a lower price, but it's not the case here. I have made and will continue to make countless videos all about Parkland, Boca Raton, Coral Springs, and the surrounding areas. So make sure you check those out. But basically in a nutshell, Parkland is about a third of the size of Boca. It's more of a tight knit, smaller, more rural feeling community, as opposed to Boca, which is really spread out. It goes all the way from as far west you can go to all the way to the ocean. It's drastically different experience driving through most of Boca than driving through Parkland. You just have to see it for yourself. Parkland is so unique that for the most part, they don't have any traffic lights. Not everywhere, there's a few, but for the the most part, they use roundabouts and basic four-way stop signs. And it is such a small, tight-knit community that it's not uncommon for you to drive down the street and see a celebrity athlete jogging on the side of the road or maybe riding in a golf cart with their kids and their dogs. Okay, so we spoke briefly about the community as a whole and how it differs from Boca, and both are just fine. Uh, and I also have other videos on that, so definitely check it out. But now we're gonna talk about schools, because if you're like our family, schools are extremely important. I have five kids, and I wanna make sure they're going to excellent schools to get the best education as they can. And Parkland schools are are phenomenal and they're some of the most highly sought after public schools in the entire state. There's three elementary schools or public elementary schools in Parkland and they're all rated a nine or a 10. There's one middle school, which is West Glades Middle and that's rated a 10 and their high school's rated an eight, Stoneman Douglas. Now there are also great charter and private schools in Parkland and also in neighboring Boca and Coral Springs. But I guess if you're doing a charter or a private school, then where you live really doesn't matter. Now, another reason why I think Parkland could be better for you when it comes to families is that I would say the majority of the properties and people out there have families. There are a couple of 55 and over communities out there. There's the Four Seasons, which we did in our previous video about the four priciest communities in all of Parkland. There is the Falls, where ironically we just went in contract with a client of ours. But for the most part, there's a lot, a lot of families. And it's also, like I was saying, a tighter knit community, all within relatively similar points within their lives. As opposed to Boca, Boca is really spread out. You have the full gamut. I mean, you can have one bedroom condos all the way to luxurious mansions on the beach and you can have a mobile home community maybe a couple blocks over you can have six seven bedroom very large spacious homes from people of all different walks of life parkland is for the most part a lot a lot of families another good reason that parkland is just great for families is they have tons of events they have extravaganzas which is the uh, easter egg hunt if you will they have trunk or treat they have drive-in movie nights and they have shows at the amphitheater right next to the p rec or the parkland recreation center you can get a link in the description of this video 
video where we have the calendar of all of their events. As a matter of fact, I did a farmer's market video and you can check that out. In addition to all those things, there's a lot of playgrounds and parks and really unique ones. I also have a couple videos on that. You can also see that at the end of this video or within the description of this video here. So basically in a nutshell, Boca and Parkland are both great for families. They're great for a lot of different reasons, but maybe Boca is just might not have been your best option and maybe you just haven't considered Parkland. So that's why I titled this video, Don't Buy in Boca until you watch this video first because Parkland might be the best bet for you. So if you're thinking about moving to Boca or Parkland, maybe you want to get on a Zoom call and just discuss your options. By all means, reach out to us and we'll love to help you with that. And once again, my name is Chris Cusimato. I'm the team lead of the Homes by Cousy team. We service all of Palm Beach and Broward counties.